Welcome, possibly for the very first time, to Carnades.org. In this video, in honor of our 400th video here on the channel, we are going to be doing something of a channel guide for those of you who are new to the channel and want to find out more information or find out what the channel has to offer, this is the perfect video for you. So, before we get into all of the different videos we have here on the channel, I want to talk a little bit about two goals that we kind of have here at the channel. The first one is that we quest for knowledge in search of those claims that cannot be doubted and are fully justified. I have yet to find any position in philosophy that's actually justified or can back up its claims, which leaves me as a skeptic, but that doesn't mean that there's not one out there. So, if you want to see if your own philosophy or your own ideas are sufficient to hit that high bar for knowledge, put your preconceptions here, send them to me, and Either you'll find a video we have on it, or I'll make a video in response to it. So, put your preconceptions and firmly held beliefs, submit them, and challenge them here at Carnades.org. The other big goal we have here at the channel is to repave the Agora with the ruins of the Ivory Tower. Or, in other words, to make philosophy and academic debates more accessible to all all, and not just those who are graduate students or professors of philosophy. So, with that out of the way, in the rest of this video, we're going to be looking at all of the different videos we have to offer here at the channel. There's going to be links to all of the playlists and all of the videos, so if you want to at any point, pause the video and click on those links. Watch those videos, you're more than welcome to. So, first off, whenever you see kind of this gray-white background, that means we're going to be talking about videos in logic or kind of the basics of philosophy. This is the largest area of videos we have here on the channel, mostly due to the 100 Days of Logic, a huge series we did last year at the beginning of the year, going all the way through the first 100 days of the year, where we did a minute and a half video every single day for 100 days. In that series, we had videos on propositional logic, categorical logic, fallacy February, where we looked at a different logical fallacy every single day for all of February, and predicate calculus, kind of combining propositional and categorical logic. All of these videos, I would say, equate to a basic first-year course in logic. So if you're taking that course, this is a great supplement, or if you kind of want that information preparing for another course in philosophy, this would be a great place to start. This year, more recently, we also did kind of something less on academic logic, more on kind of more recreational logic, called a February Fortnight of Knights and Knaves. Check out that series for kind of some fun logic puzzles. Also, in kind of this gray-white background, we have the basics of philosophy, for those people who are just starting out in philosophy and need more information. We've done series on philosophical distinctions, different positions in philosophy and what those mean. We did a month on thought experiments, where we did a different thought experiment every month, including ones like Brain in a Vat. We've also done a couple of series on paradoxes now. Originally, we did a week-long series on paradoxes, including the most popular video here on the channel, The Paradox of Theseus' Ship. And more recently, we did a whole month on paradox, where we did a different paradox every single day for a whole month. All in all, if you like paradoxes, there's a lot of them out there on this channel for you to check out. Now, another popular area of the channel is philosophy of religion. There's a lot to debate here. So whenever you see kind of this yellowish golden background, we're talking about philosophy of religion. We've looked at the problem of evil way back at the beginning of the channel, but since then we've done things like the Euthyphro Dilemma, seven different ontological arguments for the existence of God, including our great series debunking the modal ontological argument, Six Ways from Sunday. We also have looked at the cosmological argument and some objections to that, and currently we're looking at a series on teleological arguments for the existence of God, also known as design arguments for the existence of God. Check out that series, we're right in the middle of it right now. Also in the area of philosophy of religion, we've looked at kind of some more obscure arguments for the existence of God, such as Arthur Pryor's Proof of God. We've looked at 
Better Witty Fool, a critique of presuppositionalism. Yes, this is a series we still haven't finished, at least at the making of this video, but I'm really hoping to get started back on very soon. We've also checked out the modal epistemic argument for the existence of God, different from the modal ontological argument. And then a couple of videos created here at the website and at the channel against Planninga's free will defense entitled The Partial Free Will Argument and the Free Will Dilemma. Finally, in philosophy of religion, we also had a video called Against the Atheists, where we talk a little bit about different kinds of atheism and how some might be able to be justified while others probably aren't. Now, whenever you see this blue background, we're kind of talking about general ideas in philosophy or ideas that are very specific to philosophy. One of those is going to be epistemology or the study of knowledge. As we're talking about trying to find knowledge and skepticism, this is a big area of the channel. So recently we did a series called In Defense of Skepticism, where we talk about some reasons that you might be a skeptic like me here on the channel. We've also looked into the Gettier problem, the problem of the criterion. Descartes' I think, therefore, I am, and ways to even doubt that. Monkhausen's trilemma and some problems for justification. Fitch's paradox, the paradox of knowability. And very recently, we did a huge series on Bayesian epistemology, which is kind of a more complicated series than some of the other series on the channel, but hopefully accessible to everyone that's been following along, and it talks about some interesting, very modern positions in confirmation theory and some ideas in kind of gradation epistemology. So, we also talk about philosophy of mathematics and proof with this kind of blue background. These include things like Russell's paradox and Gödel's incompleteness theorem, also Cantor's paradox and the continuum hypothesis, or even Lewis Carroll's what the tortoise said to Achilles in kind of the foundations of logic along with Curry's paradox, and another problem for truth, doubting truth, and kind of the law of the excluded middle. Check out any of those videos if you're interested. A lot of them are kind of some of the justification for the skepticism we present, so it's pretty interesting. Also, in this blue background, we don't have as much on metaphysics and philosophy of language, but we do have some. We've talked about properties of relations, Mariology and the parthood relationship, Mein Yang's jungle and the theory of objects that don't actually exist. We've talked about personal identity and the persistence question, the distinction of de re and de dicto, and several different versions of that distinction. And very soon we're going to be looking at some more in the philosophy of language, being four famous puzzles in the philosophy of language with Bertrand Russell and Goethe Frege. Now, whenever you see this kind of green background, we're going to be talking about videos in the philosophy of science. Now, as I'm a skeptic, this channel is very skeptical. We're not only skeptical of ideas in religion and proofs of God, we're also skeptical of scientific methodology and the claims of truth that come out of science. So, in this section, we're going to be looking at things like the problem of induction, the new riddle of induction, symbolized by our Gru Emerald, kind of the disparities and problems between skepticism and science and the reason they kind of clash. We're going to be looking at videos like Debunking Atheist Dogma, where we talk about some preconceptions that are held not by all atheists but by some of them relating to kind of the relation between science and religion and some of the problems therein. We'll talk about Occam's razor and why that's a problematic kind of ampliative principle for our scientific theories. Really recently we did a big series on a theory is just a theory talking about underdetermination in scientific theory and very soon we're going to be looking at Hempel's ravens and kind of Hempel's paradox and talking how that plays into the philosophy of science. An area we haven't touched much on, but another area hopefully we're going to expand more in the future, is ethics and law, which is a big area in philosophy. We have done a little mini-series called Doubting Truth, Justice, and the American Way, where we've touched on equality with Harrison Bergeron, war and peace with just war theory, freedom and what's wrong with slavery with R. M. Hare, and we've also talked a little bit about ethics in some of our thought experiments on the trolley problem. We've also done a big video on the kind of meta-ethical problems presented by Moore's open question and kind of some of the skeptical of maybe objective ethics ideas and concerns that are presented there. Finally, whenever you see kind of this purple background that we started with, we're talking about either an informational video like this one or 
a reading, a dramatic reading, or a song that I've done. So, we have such readings as a reading of what the tortoise said to Achilles. The previous one was just some commentary on it. A Dream Within a Dream by Edgar Allan Poe. Harrison Bergeron by Kurt Vonnegut. Get Drunk by Charles Baudelaire. And a couple songs that I've did. One for the final day of Logic Logically. And one for our kind of last milestone of videos. We don't know a skeptic's anthem. Hopefully you find something that will help increase your knowledge. Make you find knowledge. Doubt things you thought were knowledge here on the channel. If there's any videos you'd like me to make, or ideas you think I should address here on the channel, please, please offer them in the comments below. Send me a message. Watch this video and more here at Carneades.org. And stay skeptical, everybody.